Listen, if you don't remember but one thing tonight, other than these great patriots that are here, and, and, and I, just, I want to just add one, one thing. It, 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 I'm so honored to have people like Marcus and Dan that have stood up and said, listen, we're for this guy. In these two guys' cases, they know me personally. Mike Thornton, Medal of Honor recipient. General Jim Livingston, Medal of Honor recipient. Those individuals are standing up and saying to their friends and veterans and fellow military colleagues, we need this man because we know his heart. We know him. They're making a difference for us to the veterans all across this country. But remember this one question as you leave here tonight. Why would you settle? Why would you settle for anything but an authentic conservative that shares your views and values that will go to Washington, D.C. and not apologize one moment for you? You don't have to. You got a choice. And that choice is in a governor who has a track record of creating jobs, a governor who has been pushing back on Washington, D.C. with the help of my colleagues in the Senate and the House, and we understand how to compete. We understand what our founding fathers meant when they had those enumerated powers for the federal government to stand the military, to secure and defend our borders. It'd be nice if they would do one of those really well. We get one out of two. Very enumerated and limited powers at the federal level. And then they said, the states are going to be where the competition occurs. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited to it by the states, or reserved for the states, respected, or to the people. The Tenth Amendment. These governors and a number of other governors understand that intuitively, that it's states that should be making the decisions about how to educate our children, how to deliver health care, how to build transportation infrastructure, how to take care of our environment. I can promise you, Bobby knows better. Sam knows better how to take care of the folks of Louisiana and Kansas, respectively, than some bureaucrat in Washington, D.C. Yeah. That's what this is about. A president who instinctively understands you let the states compete. Allow that Medicaid to go back into Kansas. Allow the EPA type work to be done at Louisiana level and our people will do better. Stand up and take out your pen and sign an executive order on the first day you're in the Oval Office and wipe out as much of Obamacare as you can. Sam carry the legislation on the House side that completely wipes it off the books. And you can be the co sponsor in the Senate, David. We can get our country back again and get it on track and get it in a hurry. Open up our federal lands and water so that we can get the energy that's sitting there, proven reserves. 90% of our reserves aren't even being used, David. I mean, the dollars that could be used from creating the energy industry in America, domestic energy, and allow that money for our federal lands to go to pay off this debt, this $15 trillion worth of debt. That's what this election's about. This is not about me. It's about our country. And our country's calling on now. They're asking us. Our children are waiting for us to answer the call. And the question is this. Are we ready to step forward? Yes. We are. Yes. I thought about what the prophet Isaiah heard from the Lord when he was asked, Who shall I send and who will go for me? Isaiah said, Here I am. Send me. This is our challenge. This is for our generation. But our children are waiting for us to answer. Are we going to answer that call? Will you join me in the mission to hold your hand up and say, here am I, send me, and take our country back. That is our challenge. That is our mission.
and I will make you just one fact. You have my back tomorrow at the caucuses, and I'll have your back for the next four